Michael? My name's Mike, I'm a Columbia College dropout, and Two Failed Companies is my third. It's called Channel Awesome. And basically we just do online video. Our site has been up for a year and we're pulling in three million people a month, so we've, we've gotten pretty big out of not having any funding. So we just produce videos online and distribute them to people. The market's so saturated with films and just other content, I think people want the access. That's the most important thing. Yeah. It's now a culture now. They want to see it right now. They don't want to go out right. somewhere to see it. They don't want to wait to a scheduled time is available. They want to see it yeah. now. See, I they love that. Right you away. speak to the immediacy of, I mean, you are like, you're, you, when I talked with him on the phone last night, he's talking about his business model a month from now. That's every day it changes. I mean, there's nothing you can sit there with. I mean, every day something new pops up, and like we got to try this now, or we got to stop this because this isn't going to work. Right. There's no time to sit there and delay because online you have the ability now to actually change your stuff on the fly. If you're doing something that's on TV or film, you're kind of locked into what you're doing. You can't really modify it right away. So I mean, and plus online is cheap. I mean, you can do stuff for next to nothing and not have to worry about having a big backlash from an investor or anybody else. Mm -hmm. What you do is immediate reaction. There's no delay in seeing what people think about it. Mm -hmm. You know, if you've got all these people coming to your website, which is what they want, mm -hmm. and you're not selling them shit, the problem is you. Right. That's what I think I, the future that's is. Definitely not. It's selling people shit, it isn't, it is no point of doing that. If I sit there and put a cell phone ad on there, it's from joescellphonechat.com, who's going to trust that? Well, okay, go on. You're not go gonna, on. Even if you're a small website, even if you're a medium website, you're not going to get that big sponsor that's going to come in there, sell this new Verizon phone, this is coming straight from Verizon, you're going to get some off-shoot guy that's going to be doing his own little cell phone shop. Well, I'm disappointed because you're like against the old world guard and you're hitting me with the old world no, guard. No, not the old world guard. The, 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 the new world, you're it, talking it, ads. Advertising. Forget ads. I don't no, use the word ads. The way that you get people to buy stuff is you have to integrate it perfectly in the show. It has, if you're doing a comedy stuff, you have to do a comedy sketch around that product and integrate it in such a way where people aren't going to be like, oh my God, that's an ad. I'm turning this shit off. Oh, see, I wouldn't do that. But that day, look, it, it, it's been working for us. So I'm going to let it go. Most people will actually tell us in the, in the comments, like, when does DV come out? I mean, we had a, a thread right recently where we said we're bringing out the DVs of Ask That Guy, Bum Reviews, and our sketches and all these people want. In order for our t-shirts to get distributed, we had a contest where people submitted t-shirts. We had 15 sure. t-shirt winners. Sure. We had thousands of submissions, so, and people voted on which one they would buy. Right. So we kind of use a site to do it's that like stuff. Right, right. Yeah, we do the site itself instead of going out to Facebook or MySpace to have people talk about it. I mean, most people, we know what they want because if they complain about an ad, we get rid of the ad. We don't want them to be pissed off. If we're doing a video for, you know, a wine company and we use a free YouTube player, we use a, a Blip TV player, we use Vimeo or whatever, they potentially have the right to put advertising in there that might compete with the brand that we're talking about. So we couldn't go in confidently to any kind of client and say, we want to sell you this service because we don't actually own the control of the media once we put it on that well, system. You can always turn off ads though, and then get your own ad network in there. It's just the point of getting your own ad network. That's right. the toughest thing now for anybody online. Right. Then there's also another way too. I mean, you also make a good chunk of money from donations alone. I mean, we had a big event where we've flown in 26 people from around the world. A guy came from Australia, a guy came from France, and they're all people on our site. And it was paid for by our donators. We had a donation drive for three hours, and we got $15,000. And they, they didn't even know what they're doing. Like, it was gonna be for a big event in April, I mean, it's, it's gonna be released on Saturday, so I can talk about it now because no one knew about it. I don't get that. People just give money, like just if they're in the million pixel yeah. project too. It's like I, I don't understand I don't, how that works. It's, you have to understand. get them involved in the site, and once they're involved in the site, eight percent of our traffic is fully going on the site ten times a day. Even if they don't have money, they'll still donate because they know it's a good cause. I mean, we also give them behind the scenes footage and blooper reels mm -hmm. for donating. It's expensive to keep you know theaters up and open. I mean, Which is why the internet's going to come and take Absolutely. care of that because yeah. it's any time, any place. Yeah. Right. So then it could be a, a 30 minute movie, it can be a 3 hour movie, it can be a 4 hour movie and you can do whatever you want. People, if they're going to watch it, they're going to watch it. Right. At their no convenience. Constraints. Yeah, and there's no yeah. constraints yeah. on you. Social networking, community builder. I know you're not so much into that as we are, but I think that, my God, if you can create a group of people that are similar, mm -hmm. that's when you've got a lot of you don't think that that would be relevant to your brand? We were able to, to grow without using it. I'm not a guy that goes on MySpace or Facebook or Twitter. I mean, we have a person that does Twitter updates for us. I have an RSS sure. feed on the site, but sure. I'm not personally, I don't need to have people know everything that's going on. And with the site, most are, it's done by our people. We're not taking care of it. They're doing it for us. We have our users that are, are sending it to Delicious and Dig and Red. Well, that's because your users are like 18 to 25, right? I mean, that's why we got yeah. that ability to not have to do much work for the whole social networking because they do More it for us. More power to you, man. 
frankly, I don't understand Twitter because Twitter is just like little kind of like little blurbs, little kind the of. The only thing was interesting is when Oprah first got on there and Shaq told her her cap locks was on. It's the only time I actually used to watch Twitter and actually went to the page because I heard Shaq was taunting Oprah. I just don't understand what Twitter adds to the conversation. Well, Twitter essentially is just the status up. It's we, a glorified we, RSS feed. That's all it is. Yeah. Well, yeah, but is. you have that in Facebook, but you also have the yeah. ability to put photos in Facebook. You also have the ability to put videos in Facebook. True. It's a fad. Yeah, like, Facebook, on the other hand, is not a fad. Facebook isn't, but they still have to monetize before they can continue to grow. They're at the point where they're still not making money. Someone's going to pull the plug on them. They're invested by somebody. They don't make money eventually. They're going to pull the plug. Again, you build a community. You have tons of people there. You're a moron if you can't figure out how yeah. to monetize 200 that million somehow. users. Users, well, man, it's like you know. Say they, take no, they could be a moron. It takes them two years to make the money, though. When someone else comes out, now MySpace was before Facebook, and they were the hotness. And now you have Facebook. Now someone else is going to come out, and then you're going to be done now. I mean, um, with, with social networking, this is why I'm kind of against it. I mean, I'd rather have people come to one source, my site, mm -hmm. to see the news instead of relying on someone else's site to get my news. So I'm getting the direct traffic. I'm getting the direct ad revenue. And if they're going to come, they're going to view it. They're not going to be on Twitter. I see it. Maybe I'll check later. They're going to come to the site. Your main thing is you want them to watch it in your environment so that the actual advertising is playing. But you know, there, yeah. there are ways to actually do that through one of these conduits like Facebook. Yeah. And that's, that's what Do you doing. send them emails? No. Yeah. It's all, I mean, they, they all check off. And I, I have people that tell me they check five times a day now because they think there's going to be a new video every hour. You have an enthusiast crowd, man. That is a great crowd. I mean, we've, I mean, we're doing three videos a day now, which is kind of heard of three brand new videos a day on the web and it's going to grow, be growing to four, it's going to be growing to five and as we keep going and we're going to have 100 people on board so we can do 10 new videos a day which is going to be like a TV station almost. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I met you. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I mean for the web to really become that powerhouse that it can be, it has to have a group of people that are willing to make content that can be something that's a water cooler talk, a Sopranos, mm -hmm. Survivor Season 1, whatever that gets people talking. Once that gets done, the web is going to surpass TV. Right. It's just missing that one cr crucial show that gets everybody talking about what, it. What is the uh, average length of your, the clips on your website? The, right? uh, the average, I would say, between 5 and 10 minutes. I mean, we go up yeah. to 20, 30 minutes, but yeah. generally it's 5 to 10 minutes. Something we want to move past, though, because that 5 to 10 minute clip is still YouTube mentality. It's a quick clip that you're just going to come watch and you're going to go away and you may watch it again. But you want people that sit there and that can watch a half hour mm -hmm. and be occupied, not mm -hmm. be running away. Oh, my God, I'm bored now. You want to get that quality in there. Okay, but I'm talking about companies. Like, okay, so here you go. You, you get millions of people that come to your website. Fabulous. Do you know if you walked into a Gap or a GM or one of these companies that says, I could bring millions of people to your website. Those people, their jaw would fall down. They're going to still see you as a website and they're not going to fully respect you. And most people, when you talk to them and say you're doing online media, they're not going to give you the full respect that you would get if you say you were in television or anything like that. It's still kind of like the redheaded stepchild. <laughs> you can do it, I don't even think you need any views. I think you could walk in and say, look, this is the concept I want. I think that it appeals to the people that come to your website. If it's thought out, somebody is going to do it and they are going to bite. But They'll tell you thank you. You have to have not only credentials, you have to have a, a track record of being able to do this. Yeah. And, and it's hard to get that track record when no one's really accepted. I'm with you, buddy, but yeah. my whole career has been nothing but trying new things yeah. that haven't been tried before. Build create your brand. Build a brand, create a conversation with people who are interested in what exactly. you might be. And that's perfect, man. That's a perfect example. This is something that I will go into my clients and say, look at what this dude is doing for well, his company. I'm essentially doing what I'm telling people to do. I have a show well, that people watch. No, that's sitting on my site. Okay. But it has nothing to do with my products whatsoever. But other than social networking, how are you getting it out? How are people finding it? Because basically, my whole thing with what we're well, doing... Well, we, we target groups, you know, we're obviously, it's easy but, for us. Vimeo, Exposure Room, these are places where mm -hmm. independent filmmakers go. But it's still, you're still limited to those independent filmmakers. Now, in order to, to get it on the web, to get those advertisers, to get what you right. want, you have to get to everyone. Mm -hmm. So the only way people... Well, are I, w I would disagree online, with that. You need to get to your target market. But once you get to your target, you're, not gonna, you're gonna eventually plateau. And then, really, after they plateau, people start getting bored, and they're done. In order to survive, when the TV giants decide to go and go all out online, you're going to have to have a set of partnerships, alliances, and new content that constantly keeps coming to play. You can't be one site taking on TV. You have to be an established network of multiple sites, of different niches, and different genres, and you have to go at it together. You have to become a network online. That's what we're trying to do, and that's the only, the only way you can truly become big online. You're not going to take on YouTube by yourself. You're not going to take on Hulu by yourself. You have to have a group of people that share the same passion and interest with you yeah. right. in order to do that. I agree with you, but be careful 
careful when you say that's the only way. Our whole plan is to become a network online. I, I love that idea. I mean, we've talked about that a million times here. And I think there will be many networks online. Yeah. But if they're competing against each other and trying to sabotage each other, that's what's going on right now with sites stealing people's talent, stealing other work, copying mm -hmm. other work. You're not going to survive. They're not going to survive. You that's know. television. That's, you that's just describe be, television, yeah, man. I don't think you're ever Learn to embrace that. that. Yeah, you got to fight and yeah. just get in there. I mean, we're dealing with something now, but I'm not going to talk about it. Okay. Yeah, so. You're first in, man. Congratulations. Yeah. And you're a guy that's constantly thinking like, what's going to be next month? What's going to be next month? That's what you got to do. I just can't speak to the demise of television right yet. <laughs> that's a potential future, but I, you also have to think that the people over there in the TV land. Oh, they're fighting it tooth and nail. Actually. They're they're going to come up with schemes. They're just like we're coming up with schemes right here. They got to be coming up with schemes because they don't want to lose. The same that. ideas though. You look at all the shows now. Everything is a carbon copy of one another. They can't come up with anything unique anymore. Yeah. Well, uh, it's either reality or CSI freaking Oklahoma. There's nothing new. I have I have friends in the agency world. I'm not going to say which agencies or whatever yeah. that refuse, flat out refuse to get on Facebook. And I'm like, this is, this is the thing that's going to kill your, your business. This is the one thing that's going to come along and basically take the rug out from underneath your feet. And they just don't want to play. They just, no, it's not on television. It doesn't, it's not sexy. It's not, you know. Well, plus with online, though, you've got a lot of barriers, too. People want to see ads. Well, we only wanted the videos shown in America to have the ads. But you're showing in 300 countries. I mean, you've got people in Madagascar watching you, not just America. Mm -hmm. So you have to have your ads not only targeted, but you have to have your ads regionalized. Right. Mm -hmm. You can't just sit there and, and pick, put one ad to have it go over what if their product's not in that country. So right. why are they paying exactly. for that? So there's a lot of hurdles with online right now that I think in the next year will start being solved. Yeah. Just you still have a little bit more time before it does happen. Take a look at a couple behind the scenes pictures. Now you're building an enthusiasm for when Joe's product comes out. I would totally be into following that. That's only going to go so far, though, because you're going to have people that are already fans now. What about people that you might think would fit into the new fan role? You'd have to attach yourself to an established website that has that audience that you're looking for and then that they can sit there and promote you. And most websites will do it for next to nothing if you go to the right people. And then you have a new audience to go with your old audience. So basically you combine social networking with the internet with a, an established website and you've got a new audience walk into somebody's door and say, look it, I want to play this on your website. We are inventing the model right now. Well, the advantage that it has over TV is this ability to narrow cast. So it isn't this whole principle of throwing a bunch of shit up against the wall and seeing what sticks. It's like really target your audience and understand your audience and, and don't waste time or resources or money right. around the audience that isn't going to appeal to. And that's what the web has, I think, is that choice and that option. And I think distribution gravitates that. They still view web video as YouTube. It's a 30 second right. clip, it's a minute clip. They don't view it as something that can be real content. They view it as something where someone emails it to you, it's a funny clip, ah ha ha, and they email it on. It's not a, a show that people will turn into weekly. Right. Right. And that's the problem you have to do. I mean, especially in Chicago alone, I mean, you talk about online video to anyone in Chicago that's not in online video, and they're staring at you blankly, like, what yeah. the hell are you talking about? Oh, we heard that's yeah. kind of cool, maybe we can do that in a few years. You have to get people to finally accept online video as a true medium mm -hmm. for people to distribute stuff, and it's still not at that point yet. I, it's getting close, I but it's not there yet. YouTube, we have a tremendous debt to pay to those guys because they figured it out. They All said, right, okay, whatever. this is how we organize content. This is how you post it into other places. This is how you post it into Facebook. This is how you do all this stuff. And people were like, I kind of sort of get it now. If my dad understands yeah, that I can, I, look for, I can look for videos online and I can put them into my Facebook page and whatever, those sorts of things are, are extremely valuable to what we're trying to do here. They're establishing But a they can't even make money at it. They could go bankrupt, you know, I mean. They can't make money though because they have so many garbage videos on there that you have to sit there and look through a thousand videos before you find that one good video. There's so much crap on there. No one's gonna pay to advertise on that, so they're paying the hosting costs, they're paying the server fees, they're paying all that for crap videos, but they can't deny anybody. I don't think that uh, YouTube is getting out of business anytime soon, gentlemen. They're losing 450 huh? million last year, but the thing is their ads are all Google ads. They're not targeted ads. They're just basic Google generic AdWord ads. They don't have any full real sponsorships for most of the videos. Right. Maybe the top few 10 people there have it, but after that, it's just Google ads, which pay you next to nothing. Let's talk about this Blip TV and all that kind of stuff that you're doing. They host our videos. We don't get, have to charge anything to have the videos hosted, and they pay us ads. I mean, they split the profit 50-50. Right now, we have a dedicated Starburst ad, and we have a Puma ad on there that pay us really well, and we're at the point now where we're getting really close to being sponsored on a month-end basis, which is going to be huge money. And with Blip TV, they do all the work for us. They are able to get us a sponsor. They're able to get us the ads, and if we wanted to, we could have our own team, and they'll charge us $500 for 100,000 views to have our ads that we get ourselves 
on the video. Mm -hmm. But the thing with them is not only can you cross post almost any site you want to go to, they have a dedicated <laughs> sales team there to help you out. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got to shake your hand first off because I think you're one of the few people that is actually making a monetized amount of money from his content on the web. I probably am making some money from mine, but I can't monetize it like you're talking about. A Thank pleasure you so to meet much. you. It's nice to meet you too. I mean, I've known you for a while. It's always a pleasure talking to you. And you, congratulations. I think what you're doing is just amazing. Thank you very much.